Hey, it's Jason from EnlightenedWebMastery.com. Today I'm going to talk about how to find out who matters most to you on Twitter. Now, the way Twitter works is you'll find someone interesting and you'll follow them or they might find you and they'll follow you and then you'll check them out and follow them. And over time, you'll just add up a whole lot of friends that you can't really interact with all the time. Now, thing is, a lot of us have a lot of habits we may or may not be aware of. And what this article is going to introduce you to is this great tool called Twitter Friends that allows you to analyze your habits, see what you're doing, so you can try and maybe improve and become a better tweeter. You can read the full article at enlightenedwebmastery.com. So in this video, I'm going to go over a brief overview of the tool and show you how it works. So the point of the tool, which is twitterfriends.com, is to introduce you to your habits so you can see what you're doing. See if you're only replying to certain people or you're not replying to anybody at all, if everything you post is a link or if everything you post is a conversational reply. And the point of the article is to help introduce you to this tool so you can see the habits, see what you're doing, and then maybe try and improve upon it if you want to. So let me show you how Twitter Friends works and a little bit about how to use it. So the theory is that Twitter has three different kinds of networks. And those networks are your network, which is the group of people that either follow you or you're following them. And then you have your follower of followers network which is the extended reach of your network. They're the friends of your friends. And then you also have the at crowd, which is basically the people you reply to the most and talk to the most. And what this tool wants to do is show you who you're following the most and try and uh, point out this hidden network and what you're using. So to get started, you go to twitter-friends.com. And when you get here, what's a really great thing is you don't actually have to put in your username and password. It's secure. But until Twitter opens up the open authentication protocol, I really wouldn't recommend using your login and password just anywhere. So what's really great is you don't have to here. So to get started, just type in your name or someone else's name. I'm going to type in Kevin Rose for this example because he Twitters a lot and as such he has much better statistics than I do. So whenever you type in your name or somebody else's name, you're going to see an example of what they look like. You'll see their statistics. This is the people that you reply to the most. And this shows the frequency of how much you reply to them. This right here is the people that reply to you the most and how often they reply to you. As you can tell, these are not always directly correlated. Some of these users may or may not be on the same list. Some might not even be on the list. So whenever you scroll down to here, this is where it gets a little more fun and a little more interesting. What you're going to see here is a little graph right here which shows how you how you are and how your rank is. Now what's cool is you can type in your name or somebody else's name and see how you stack up. I tried out a few different people that I follow and noticed some of them had higher reply, some of them was just full on the link quotient, and it's kind of cool when you can see how they are. I haven't really found that many people that's equal in all distances. I'm surely not, but it's pretty interesting so let's talk about the most relevant parts to you and that's gonna be right here this is your username by the numbers the size of your relevant net which is outgoing what this is is it shows you the number of users that replied to you in the last 30 days and did so more than one time and the size of your relevant net incoming is the number of users that you reply to more than once within the last 30 days that's the way the tool works it goes through the last 30 days of your tweets so that's why you need to keep track of it about once a month now your fans are the people that you reply to within the last 30 days and the tweet sent a day which is right here is the average of how many tweets you typically send a day replies sent a day is how many replies you send a day and what's really cool here is the conversational rank now what this is is it uses the what they refer to as the conversational quotient which shows how many of your tweets are replies and basically the higher the number is the more you're having one-on-one -on -one conversations with a certain user. If your number's pretty low, that means you're not having a lot of conversations with other users. So you may or may not want to try and increase that or decrease it and see where you are. Uh, currently out of 3,798 people, Kevin's ranked number 288. Another really interesting post right here is, well, you can see the links posted by Kevin Rose a day is about 2.3, so 
about twice a day he's going to post a link which is pretty cool and the link quotient is about on average of all your uh, all your tweets how many of them are links so if you're sending out a lot of tweets with links you're going to have a higher average right around here so now that we know what Twitter friends is and how we stack up maybe to our friends or other people and we know what we're kind of doing more of or not as much of now we need to try and figure out what to do now so what you need to do is try and analyze your stats see what you're doing and see if you really want to try and improve and become more conversational with other users uh, cut down on your links maybe add a few more links maybe post a few posts that aren't, don't have any links them at all it's not talking to anybody else and try and implement that so like if you have 10,000 followers and you're only talking to 10 or 15 people that's probably a little bit rude so maybe you want to try and engage a few more people maybe if someone follows you you'll send them an at reply say hey thanks for following me I checked out your website it was cool or hey that was a nice article that was a nice tweet I'm doing the same thing how's the weather you know typical things like that so I hope you found this article helpful and you can follow me on Twitter at at JasonAnnis.com so thanks for viewing the article and the video and have a great day.